Marowak to run, set text. <coughs> Alrighty, Marowak is the contestant for this one. Marowak's a bit of a strange one. Who ever really used him in Gem 1? I know I certainly didn't. You catch Cubone in, uh, where is it, Pokemon Tower. And by then, you've already had access to be able to get together a pretty good team. So Marowak is not a Pokemon I've used a lot in Gem 1. Its speed stat is pretty bad. Its move pool isn't fantastic. It does learn Dig, which is all right, but as for the rest of its moves, Marowak is actually not that good. It's got pretty bad special, so it's not gonna be good against water or grass. Um, so that's its starting moves. Its only physical move that it's got right now is Bone Club. And straight away, that gives me a challenge to overcome because I won't have a move to be able to damage any flying type Pokemon, which is what the second rival battle has. As you see by the stats that just came up, um, Marowak's defense isn't too bad. It's physical defense and its physical attack is passable. But its speed and its special are really quite bad, so Marowak is probably not going to be a good run for Gem 1. So as we normally do, we'll make our way through to the Viridian City Pokemart where we will pick up Professor Oak's parcel. And thinking ahead for Marowak, it's not going to be too bad against Brock because um, uh, ground types are actually super effective against rock. So I don't think Brock's going to be too much of an issue. Misty on the other hand is going to be very difficult because you're almost going to have to bank on Stami striking first and either using Bubble Beam or Water Gun which is probably almost going to be a one hit KO even in like the mid, the mid level of 20s so yeah uh, Lieutenant Surge isn't going to be an issue because he's not going to be able to really do any damage um, Erica is going to be very difficult um, remember Marowak is super effective against the poison types but due to Marowak's poor speed it's susceptible to getting hit by sleep attacks poison uh, you name it against Koga he won't be too bad against Koga because poison types remember there's no um, uh, what do you call them like abilities in this so you know coughing doesn't have levitate which will make it immune to ground attacks or anything like that um, so Koga shouldn't be too much difficulty Sabrina Maybe a little tricky because of her good speed and her good special compared to Marowak who has neither of any. And um, Blaine, Blaine shouldn't be too hard because uh, fire types, ground types, Marowak gets an advantage there. It shouldn't have too much problem against the final Giovanni. The rival battles are where it's going to be really, really tough because uh, like I said, Marowak's only move right now is Bone Club. So to actually get over the first rival, I might actually have to use Struggle because Marowak doesn't learn another like physical attacking move that isn't a ground until like, it must be like level 20 or something. I think it might learn Headbutt or something like that or until I can get a hold of a TM that can give it like a physical move. But for the first rival battle, that's not gonna be a thing. I'm actually considering picking up Mega Punch, which I don't grab very often. Um, because I, I'm not fond of moves that have poor accuracy and Mega Punch, Mega Punch isn't the worst move but it's a long way from being the best so I don't actually pick it up that often. So Marowak, so in red and blue it will not learn another physical move until level 41 and that move is Thrash which uh, will confuse you after a few turns but that's the thing with Marowak. It will not have another physical move until level 41. It can learn strength. That's the only HM it, it learns. Um, it can learn, you know, body slam. It can learn mega punch. Uh, believe it or not, um, Marowak can actually learn water gun and bubble beam. Why it can learn those two moves, I cannot tell you. It can also learn ice beam and earthquake. Obviously it can learn earthquake. Um, ice beam and blizzard 
is another move that Marowak can learn. But because of its average special, I can't really make too much use of those sorts of moves. So yeah, Marowak, Marowak is going to be a, a tough run. And um, so what I'm doing now, I'm actually going to have to lower my PP so I can take on the first rival because I haven't got a, a damaging move for Pidgey. And if I get hit by Sand Attack too many times, I will keep missing as well, which will make the battle even harder. Um, I have picked... Did I get Squirtle or Bulbasaur as a rival's Pokemon? I have already forgotten, but... Either way, Marowak is not good against either of them, so this this does take me a little bit of time, as you see. Um, I am I do have a very quick uh, speed up toggle, so I can get through doing this, you know, like somewhat quick. But Marowaks, I'm guessing that the rival battles are actually going to be the hardest in the game, um, mainly because you know the rival will have uh, he's Pidgeotto, he's Pidgeot. Uh, for the first battle with PG as well. Um, those Pokemon, um, what else does he have? He also ha usually has that Alakazam. Uh, sometimes he has an Exeggutor and he will also have a fully evolved. Um, I think I gave him Squirtle. I've, I don't know, I went through the start too quick. I didn't really take notice. But either way, um, his starter is also going to be very, very tough to, to get over. So in my infinite wisdom, I decided to go and heal Marowak. Well, I was about to heal Marowak, that's why I went into the Pokemon Center and I almost healed him and restored his PP. Which um, I did do a couple of times um, when I was doing the Magikarp run and uh, restored all the Splash PP, which was horrid. So level 10, Marowak's lost half its HP against Pidgey and it didn't get over Squirtle. Okay, so there you go, I gave him Squirtle. Um, but that also, like, Marowak did not, it nearly beat Squirtle, but it wasn't very convincing. I might level up just a couple of extra times, but I've also gone to the Pokemon Center, which means I need to deplete my PP once again. So as you see, even though this, some Pokemon do pretty well, certain parts of the run are really, really difficult, and this is in the same case for Marowak. Um, something I can do, because Marowak does have good defense, I can beat the first trainer in Brock's gym, which will give me a quick level. So one hit knockout on Diglett, uh, Marowak level 12. So as you see, I, I know I do flick through it pretty quick, but Marowak's attack was 24 and its defense was 30, it might have been 36 or something or 30. So as you see, Marowak's... Uh, Marowak's defense is at, oh, there you go, 34. So his defense physically is actually really good. So that's going to help him against trainers like Hikers and, you know, Kogas. Pokemon that use self-destruct and stuff like that, Marowak's not going to take very high damage from. Uh, because he does have bad special, he is going to have an absolute horrendous time against Lorelei in the Elite Four. I can see that coming. He will struggle against Agatha as well, even though he's got super effective moves, um, because of his bad speed. That's going to be very, very detrimental to him, and I did accidentally heal then as well. So I'll have to deplete PP again. It's such, like, habit that I have of healing at the Pokemon Center before the battle, and if I'm doing a run where I need to deplete PP, I always hit it by accident, and go to the Pokemon Center and suddenly just like that my PP is replenished. So Marowak is level 13. I don't think it'll need to be too much higher level to get over Brock. Remember Marowak will do pretty good damage against Brock with Bone Club. Another thing with Bone Club, it's not 100% accurate either. So it's a terrible move set that Marowak starts off with. The next move it learns is um, Focus Energy at level 33, which, ah, oh, it's already got, it actually starts. It starts with Bone Club, Focus Energy, Growl, and Leer. The next move, yeah, it's level 41, Thrash. So Marowak's not going to learn any moves by just leveling up. And Bone Club, uh, it's 
base power is 65, which is actually pretty good for the start of the game. Its accuracy is 85, so that's not fantastic. Um, uh, remember, Bone Club does also give a 10% chance to flinch, which um, a lot of people might not know because, like, who... Honestly, like I said before, who used Marowak for Gem 1? It just wasn't a Pokemon that was, like, really considered worth using. I would always pick Dugtrio over Marowak. Dugtrio's faster, stronger, you know, which overall makes him, makes him better. So... We've depleted PP, let's go back and try the rival again now. So Marowak's at level 13. This should be a win, I shouldn't lose this time. Um, let's just heal up. So really, Mar Marowak needs to knock out Pidgey. Oh. Oh, Squirtle's hit with Bubble and it's lowered Marowak's speed. Oh, that's... See, even at level 13, Marowak couldn't get the job done. It, it's taking a lot of damage from Struggle. Oh, but that was also unlucky. Squirtle hit with a bubble, which did a lot of damage, but bubble has a, um, has a chance to reduce your speed in battle, and that actually allowed Squirtle to outspeed Marowak. So Squirtle was able to hit bubble before Marowak could knock it out with... I wonder if using Struggle there would have actually... I think Marowak would have kept enough HP to to get over, but wow, Marowak's... Marowak's star has been dreadful. I've, and not only that, Growl and Leer both have 30 and 40 PP, like, respectively. So I have to... and Focus Energy has, th has 30 as well, so I'm having to deplete literally 100 PP off of Marowak just to use Struggle. Now remember in Gem 1, Focus Energy doesn't actually work. It actually does the opposite of what it's meant to do. It's supposed to increase your rate of hitting a critical hit, um, but it actually halves it. It's due to the buggy programming from, de from Gem 1. And um, another thing with, um, with speed, that also determines your critical hit ratio, so Marowak's not gonna be getting a lot of them. So, yeah, unfortunately, this part of the run is going to be a real grind because Marowak just starts off so poorly. If I can say something a little controversial, I can see why Team Rocket killed Marowak instead of just catching it. Might sound a little bit harsh, but Marowak is a dreadful Pokemon. So, yeah. I mean, the story behind the Marowak thing with Pokemon Tower is like... It's a pretty tragic one when you think about it. Has anyone um, seen the... I've seen a, an image of it on... doing the rounds on socials and stuff. It's... Um, it's of a Marowak and the Cubone takes Marowak's skull and um, it actually shows... Marowak's skull looking more like a Charizard head, so there's like a theory that um, Marowak or the Charizards are actually um, like Mother Marowaks or something like that. It was kind of like... There we go, we're doing a lot better this time. Squirtle, I think, also hit a critical hit in the last battle as well. So Marowak at level 14, grows to level 15 and gets past the rival, finally. So yeah, this was probably one of the slower points of the game, which... And now that I'm thinking about it, I am going to have to pick up Mega Punch because um, Marowak's not going to be able to get through Misty anytime soon. And the second, not second, the third rival battle in Cerulean City, um, he will have Pidgeotto at level 18. So I will actually have to get Mega Punch so I have a move that can damage it without having to use Struggle, otherwise I'll never get past that battle. So, as you see, Marowak level 15 will absolutely slaughter... See, there you go, Bone Club's missing. 
but Marowak will get through Brock without any problem. All right, easy win. Bide. Uh, Bide's not really useful enough to, but what I can do, I can use Bide to get rid of Growl. That way, if I need to deplete my PP, I can, because uh, Bide's only got 10 PP, so I can get rid of one of those huge PP, like, non-damaging moves that I, uh, that I don't need. So we'll get through the Bug Catchers, we'll get through the Raditors, we'll get through the Ekans, we'll get through the Caterpies and all that in this area. Another really horrible thing with Marowak only having one damaging move, I am constantly going to have to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal because the PP for Bone Club's only 20, which isn't that high, so Marowak's going to continuously run out. In fact, I'll have to be conservative in Mount Moon. Uh, it'll be alright once I get Mega Punch, but if I was going through Mount Moon without picking up Mega Punch, I'd have to conserve Bone Club. Alright, level 17, and tell you what, I really do not have high hopes for like later in the game when I'm trying to beat the Elite Four. Even um, against like Gyarados and stuff, I, I think Marowak is going to get absolutely slaughtered. So I could teach Marowak Water Gun, but there's really no point because Marowak's special is so bad. I, I, I don't really see a reason to pick it up. And... Oh, no. I can't knock out this guy's Zubat because Bone Club... Oh, this Zubat's gonna knock me out. I, I just thought of it then. I also can't damage Zubat because Zubat's part flying. So this is, this is the challenge with these runs, is you pick a Pokemon that has a dreadful move pool at the start, you might not actually be able to damage every enemy Pokemon you come against. Alright, let's go get Mega Punch. So one of the first times, in fact I think it might be the first time I've actually picked this TM up. And it's basically because I have to. Alright, let's get rid of Leah. In theory, I should get rid of um, Focus Energy because that technically doesn't work. So, alright, let's... I might actually battle... Oh, should I battle? Nah, actually, I'll just skip him. Occasionally I battle that Hiker if I want extra levels, but Marowak's a decent level as it is. Alright, we can use Mega Punch to get past Zubat. Let's pick up the Fossil. Defeat him, he's easy. With Bone Club being a ground move. I always hit the speed up toggle there and I always just have to slowly walk back so I can pick up my Great Ball. So I can go and catch my Spearow to trade for Farfetch'd. Honestly, who trades a Farfetch'd for a Spearow? Like some of the in-game trades, like in Pokemon Red and Blue were just funny like Poliwell for Jinx is another one, like, they give you, like, such a rare Pokemon, like, like, Farfetch'd, uh, like, said to be extinct, or, like, near extinct or something, and yet, someone's willing to trade a common Spearow they can just literally go down the road and catch for, like, the, for, like, one of the rarer Pokemon. Alright, there is a rare candy at the back of this guy's house, I get the feeling I'm actually going to need to use them in this run because Marowak's just just going to have such a difficult time. I, I picture Marowak losing like at least 20 times to Lorelei before it finally gets through. So I'm not even going to bother battling Misty. Um, Marowak will just get slapped by Misty. So, alright. Mega uh, Bone Club will do alright. So Marowak gets through the rival quite easily, which is um, usually not the case, so another reason why these runs are so fun to do is because some battles that like are really difficult suddenly become easy with a Pokemon that's not that good. 
All right, as for Mega Punch, I from memory, it's base 100 with 85 accuracy. Uh, power 80 with 85 accuracy is actually what it is. Which, uh, yeah, that's not great. So Marowak's, both of its moves are uh, 85 accuracy. So Marowak's going to be missing like quite a lot during this run. Can actually say I'm actually keen to get to Fusion City so I can get strength. Um, so a lot of the trainers out here have rock types. Uh, some of them have poison types. Like I, ooh, one hit with Mega Punch. And um, all right, now that I'm thinking, uh, Seismic Toss. That's going to be a very useful move for Marowak. I can get rid of Focus Energy, and I have finally gotten rid of all of the really bad starting moves that I had. Um, seismic Toss does the same amount of damage as your current level. So Marowak is actually going to be using Seismic Toss quite a lot. Um, when I get through to the SSN, I can also get the TM for Body Slam. So finally, Marowak's moveset's now a bit more balanced and a lot more useful. Um, there's no point, there's still no point battling Misty. Marowak won't win. And um, just to prove it, I'll show you Water gun, yeah, look, that's already doing like 22 damage and outspeeding. So, bubble beam, that's easy win for Misty. There's, there's no point trying to battle it. Um, I do also get dig from this rocket, which is a move that I'm probably going to keep till the end of the game as well. Um, dig will also allow me to, as its name implies, dig out of tunnels and and areas like that, so let's get rid of Bide. Alright, through the underground path, pick up a full restore. Ooh, I didn't actually mean to battle him. Ah, oh, he's gonna knock me out. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, I do that quite a lot. I speed my toggle up and go straight into that trainer with the Butterfree. And it's level 20 as well so it's the only Pokemon he has but it put Marowak to sleep ah oh, I just did it again I literally only have to tap the button and it oh, paralyze yeah all right there we go oh I won't be able to get through those two trainers yeah I, I'm thinking about using my oh how many times fully paralysis I, I am thinking about using my... I'm going to get knocked out by Pidgey. Fantastic. I was thinking about using the full restore there, and I'm now kind of wishing I did. But without paralysis, yeah, like Marowak would beat that trainer every day of the week. But, yeah... Yeah, I, I'll be 100% honest. I actually thought Marowak would do a lot better than what it actually is. Like, level 26 at this point is, like, pretty underwhelming. Like, that's not fantastic. Mind you, what level did, did I have Magikarp at this? I think Magikarp was, like, level 40 or something by this time when I did that run. So nothing's going to be worse than Magic Up, obviously, but all right. There's a great ball. There's Spiro. All right, let's go trade that for Farfetch'd. Uh, Farfetch can learn Cut and Fly, which uh, HM said a one I need to progress with the game. The other makes it a lot more convenient to get around the world map. So with Dig, I can pick up Body Slam here, which will give Marowak finally a pretty decent learn set. Um, I'm going to get rid of Mega Punch. 
Oops, don't need to go into the kitchen. Alright, now the fourth rival battle, the SSN rival. I'll go for Body Slam a lot now. In fact, I might even... I might not even use Seismic Toss that much. Oh! Kadabra. Yeah, confusion. Marowak got a little bit unlucky with that one, but it did also lose quite a lot of health. Yeah, I, with the difficulty that Marowak's having against some trainers that it probably should do quite easily. Yeah, I don't have high hopes for it later in the game. There we go. This body slam, it missed. Go for Dig. Dig's a... Oh, oh, and it outsped. Oh, that was very close. Marowak got very lucky on that. Um, Dig is base 100 in Gem 1. I think it is base 80 in all the other gens. Um, so Dig is a very good move in Gem 1. Alright, we'll say goodbye to the SSN and we will make our way into Surge. Oh no, I can't. Can I need cut from Misty? The good thing is Lieutenant Surge won't be too difficult. I might actually still have an issue. Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, damn, I forgot to heal. Oh dear. Whoops. Uh, how much does Dig do with that? Ah, oh, that's unlucky. With 3 HP, um, oh, I'm all the way back to Vermilion City. I actually, yeah, I forgot to heal. Um, that wasn't Marowak's fault, that was my fault. I'll forgive Marowak for that one. Um, but to be honest, I don't think Marowak's actually going to have too much problem with Misty. Um, it's, uh, it outsped Star... It doesn't out... I thought it outsped... No, never mind. Oh, that still did a lot of damage. Oh, okay, maybe Marowak won't have as easy a time as I thought. Uh, if you're wondering why I healed at full health, it's so I didn't have to get warped back to Vermilion City. Uh, let's go for Body Slam. Yeah, nice. I was actually hoping for a Paralysis there, but... Uh, dig, X Defend isn't fantastic, because it will lower the damage that Marowak does. Although, if it hits one more Dig, it's going to be... It should knock Starmie out. Very nice. All right. Only just, but Marowak got through. Surprisingly, yes, Marowak can learn Bubble Beam, but it's oops. Um, but Bubble Beam's uh, not a good move for Marowak personally because of his oh, I oh no 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 no, that's all right. Never mind, just my brain not working. Um, Bubble Beam, yeah, it's not a good move for Marowak because its special is so low. And remember, special counts for both your attack and defense in Gen 1. That was Gen 2 where special attack, special defense was introduced. Um, because, yeah, because Marowak's got such poor special, uh, if I give it Bubble Beam, it won't do that much damage. Now this is definitely not my favourite part of the game because the electric lock is supposed to be right next to the one that you first get right but there is a 50-50 chance of it ending up in the top left hand corner due to Gem 1's uh, hokey programming. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try the one in the top left. Yep, see, there you go. Yeah, it's a bit weird but um, Gem 1's Remember, Gem 1 was made back in the late 90s. It was a different time back then. We didn't have as good a technology. Although, to be fair, it didn't matter. Oops, I actually meant to go for Dig there, but Body Slam still did it. So yeah, as expected, Lieutenant Surge was actually very easy. 
even at a lower level, Marowak still wouldn't have had much problem with him because Surge can't do much damage to him because Marowak's physical defense is actually pretty good. Its attack's not too bad. It's literally all it's got going for it is that it can take a physical hit, but that's literally it. So, all right. So, Body Slam is a good move. It's base 80 from memory. I think it's base 80. So you can see the speed and the special stat there are just horrible. Like they are, like even, like what level's Marowak? For level 29, like both of those stats, man, like they are terrible stats. All right, we're heading over to Rock Tunnel. Let's pick up a super potion on the wall here. I don't think Marowak will have too much problem getting through uh, Rock Tunnel. Alright. Wow, an Onyx. Onyx is only like, um, maybe like 1% or like 5% to appear in, in this cave. It's actually really rare to find one that early in. I am not, oh man, I am not looking forward to doing a run with Onyx. Onyx is terrible. Uh, I think Onyx has a comedic, uh, sort of, uh, what's its special stat? Like, Onyx has a comedic, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, comedic heckling, I think, of having one of the worst special stats in the game. Its special is so stupidly low that any water or grass attack he gets hit by, like, I've knocked out Bruno's Onyxes with, like, level 25... 30 like water Pokemon before it's just how bad Onyx is even its attack is really poor its speed's not too bad its physical defense is like one of the best in the game surprisingly but once you're at the Elite Four you don't act, depending on the Pokemon you have of course but if I'm being honest I barely use physical moves I'm always using like you know your psychics your ice beams your thunderbolts, your surf, all those moves are special, so so to be fair, Onyx can have, you know, 400, 350, 400 defense at the end of the game, it doesn't even matter, because it doesn't get to use it. Alright, so rival number five, the Pokemon Tower team is not going to be any difficulty for Marowak. Still, I tell you what though, Wartortle nearly, nearly got him out. Which um, says a lot about Marowak's special, um, because it's special so low, like Onyx or Geodude or any of those rock and ground type Pokemon, even Dugtrio as well. Uh, rock and ground Pokemon have such poor special that, you know, they can have all the, all the attack and all the defense power in the world. As soon as they get touched by a water move or a grass move, they're finished. So there you go, Marowak's trying to learn Focus Energy. It does learn it again at level 33, even though it starts with it. It's another sort of weird quirk with the, the move sets. So because I deleted Focus Energy before level 33, Marowak went to learn it again, which, uh, as I said, yeah, Focus Energy in this gen doesn't work properly. Does anyone play Final Fantasy as well? I played Final Fantasy 1, uh, the NES version, the original version, and that too has a lot of bugs like that where um, certain moves don't work, uh, certain magic spells don't work, a lot like Focus Energy, they either do the opposite of what they're meant to do or they just, or they just flat out don't work. So again, Marowak can learn Ice Beam, but I'm not going to teach it Ice Beam because of its terrible special. There's just no point. I um, I made that mistake with Snorlax once. I taught Snorlax um, like Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, a few of those sorts of moves and took it to the Elite Four and Snorlax got smashed. 
because um, Snorlax doesn't have a very good special. It does learn Amnesia, so you can boost its special during the game, but naturally its attack and its physical attack is a lot better than its special, so you're better off leaving Snorlax with, you know, Body Slam, Strength, Headbutt. Headbutt's base 65 from memory, or base 60, but it also has a good chance to flinch the enemy. I've used Headbutt in late games quite a lot, even though it's not as strong of a, of a move. Because of its chance to flinch, like if you hit two of them in a row because of a flinch, you've done 130, um, like because it's a base 65, you basically times that by two if you get a flinch. Even, um, say if you use headbutt and you get a flinch and then you've got another move like strength or, you know, even say hyper beam, you get a flinch and then you hit a hyper, oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, if you get a flinch and then you hit with a hyper beam, you've done like 215, like, attack value of, of your move worth of damage, so you got to rely on luck a little bit, which usually you don't want to do in Pokemon, but... Alright, let's get through these two rockets. As you see, Marowak's physical attack's fine. Body Slam will get through most of these enemies, because Marowak is a little bit higher level than what, it, than what you usually would be at this game, at this point in the game. Uh, Giovanni shouldn't be any problems. Marowak's got pretty good defense. So Rhyhorn and Onyx are both one hits. Oh, I tell you what, if that hits a Comet Punch, oh, I was like, if that hit a five turn Comet Punch, that probably would have knocked Marowak out. All right, let's dig out of here. Now that I got that, um, we'd have some options. We can battle Erica, but I don't like Marowak's chances. So I'm going to go through Pokemon Tower. Um, that way I can get the uh, the Poker Flute from Mr. Fuji. And will also let me get to Fuchsia City, which could be a better avenue to take since Marowak will, won't have as much of a difficult time against Koga. That way I can gain a few levels while gaining some story progression. There'd be a Cubone. Alright, get rid of the Gasly. And that was... This is one of the two trainers that... Well, it's the channeler before the one that puts an end to the run for Pokemon that only have normal moves. As so remember in Gen 1, normal moves don't... Have, uh, struggle is considered a normal move, so you can't even deplete your PP. Alright, Golbat. Agatha's Golbat might be a bit of a challenge for Marowak as well. I still have Bone Club. I kind of like keeping Bone Club on Marowak just because it's like its exclusive move. Alright, let's talk to Mr. Fuji. Let's go grab the Poker Flute. Let's get rid of Snorlax. Oof. So yeah, some avenues open up here. We can we can battle Erica. We can go to Sylph Co and beat some Team Rocket members at level 37. I think Marowak should be okay against Erica. Marowak might still get outsped though. If it gets hit by paralysis, it's gonna get thumped by a pedal dance. Um, yeah. Oh, Marowak woke up. Oh god. It was a critical hit, but oh, that did a lot of damage. Yeah. Okay. Marowak's probably not gonna be able to win. Come on, Victory Pearl, just knock it out. Um, you 
You know what I could do? I could also do the fighting dojo. Yeah, I think... I think I might do the fighting dojo. Which will get Marowak a couple of extra levels. Might not even be a couple, might only be one, because Marowak's level is actually quite high. Okay. Oh! Ah! Oh, it's gonna lose. Oh, I don't believe it. Jeez, Mar I have I lost to the fighting dojo guy before? Jeez, even at level 38, Marowak just got slapped, man. Alright, I'm I'm gonna go and battle Koga. It shouldn't have any problem against Koga. Yeah, I don't know if you saw it then, there was that little, you saw the old man behind the counter there, um, sort of glitch into the wrong tile. Um, because of the weird way Pokemon Blue, like, loads sprites when you're, um, when they like first pop into the screen, they kind of like... So like, because that text box called up, um, it sort of gets in the frame before the NPC can be loaded in the right spot, so they end up in really weird spots. You can also do it with the gym in Blaine's roof. Um, when you walk in front of the door, if you walk into it like from the left, the one of the NPCs will appear on the roof. Um, sorry, one sec, I've just got to take my headset off. All right, Marowak's poisoned, which isn't good. And Muck keeps using Minimize, which is really annoying. So Marowak's probably going to get knocked out. Ah, oh, I still have ducks in the party. If that uses self-destruct, I'm going to win because I have ducks in the party. That far fetch. Well, you know what? Koga was using a dirty strategy to begin with, so he deserves to lose. Which, uh, that, I have to try and remember that for um, future runs to take ducks out of the party, but like nine times out of ten, Marowak's going to win that battle if Muck doesn't get a poison and then just keeps spamming Minimize. Because um, uh, Marowak was pretty unlucky to get poison there. So you know what? Screw Koga. Alright, we'll make our way through Safari Zone so we can go and get uh, the gold teeth for the warden and uh, the HM for surf. Uh, the gold teeth will give us strength. I uh, use Lapras for that. Ooh, Chansey. Alright, get through a few more wild Pokemon. Pick up the teeth. Enter the room and let's pick up Surf. All right, now we just need to get rid of the rest of the time. And uh, from here, I'm gonna head on to uh, that tower, uh, Sylphco. Before I forget, I'll give him his teeth because I always forget to give him the gold teeth. I have walked to the start of Victory Road before and and done that and not had his not given him his teeth and I didn't actually have strength. I had to go all the way back, so I want to avoid that. All right, head to the fourth floor so I can get the the card key. Oh, Arbok used Glare and it paralyzed me. Alright, let's get to that nurse. The NPC here does see you from max distance, but you can walk past him. And, oh, I forgot to pick the card key up, didn't I? Yep. Alright, we we'll get past your goal bat. Get past... Oof. Hypno gave it a battle. Hypno again is another really like 
control Pokemon that will either put you to sleep or use poison gas or something on you. Let's heal up again. Now let's go get the card key. I didn't actually need to go to the Pokemon Center then to heal, did I? Because I'd already beaten him. Uh, I'll get rid of the antidotes. Now remember, back in this gen, you, your bag space was limited to 20 items. Which uh, just isn't a thing in Pokemon games anymore. Thankfully, because like... Oh, here we go. Level 41, so we can learn Thrash. I'm going to get rid of Bone Club, because I have not used it for... for, like, ages. And I have Dig, so... Alright, let's try... Saffron's rival, which this is going to be a tough battle. Um, hopefully Pidgeot doesn't use Sand Attack. And it doesn't, so... We should be able to knock out Growlithe easy. Execute, we should also outspeed that as well. Oof, alright, now we're in trouble. We're paralyzed, we're leech seated. Alakazam is probably going to knock us out without much problem. So, yeah, we have not done well against the rival. Um, we're already past Koga. There's not really anywhere else I can. Oh, actually, I do still have Erica, don't I? So, I'll go and try and battle Erica again. Marowak should be able to do it now. Although it did get kind of pounded in the last one, it's not really that many, not really that many levels higher, but it should be able to do it from here. Does it outspeed? It does. If it outspeeds, it should actually one hit kill. Besides Tangler, that's got good defense, but Tangler can't really do anything. All right, here we go. Easier win at that time. All right, that it grew me a level. And that was it though, only grew me one level. Oh, I do still... I do still have the Karate King as well, don't I? Uh, I just need to reduce some of the items in my bag. Uh, get rid of Tim's. Get rid of Bubble Beam. I'm going to try battle the rival again now, see how we go. Alright, we're past Pidgeot again. Growlithe, we outspeed and can one hit with Dig. I'm going to go, ah uh, yes, that's what I wanted, that's not what I wanted though. I wanted to paralyze Execute, but I didn't want to get paralyzed myself. Blastoise is... Uh, I'm going to go for Dig. Oh, I went for Withdraw. If I get a good enough... Oh my god, that did nothing. Yeah, Marowak it doesn't have much chance. I've, I've really got no choice but to keep battling him and just try and... try and win. Um, Pidgeot, the Growlithe, will give us the most experience out of anything that we've that we're currently up to. Oops, I meant to go for Dig there. Didn't lose much health. That's not too bad. Okay, we're not paralyzed this time. We we may actually win this. All right, let's body slam Blastoise. Hope for a paralysis. Uh, no, I'm gonna go for Seismic Toss. Ah, oh, Blastoise has a lot of HP. Damn it. Look, I tell you what, Marowak wasn't actually that far off that time, so... Yeah, Marowak... It'll need to get a, a good battle, it'll be a little bit lucky, but it can do it. Yeah, 
if I get oh no nah, if I get paralyzed it's over Marowak won't be able to win Yeah, look, I'll be completely honest, I am not enjoying this run. Marowak is doing a lot worse than what I thought it would. I thought it would actually be a bit better than this. But no, Marowak is performing quite poorly for a solo run. Oh, we're only just getting past Alakazam as well, and Blastoise then just has an easy, an easy victory. You know what I might do? I might actually battle some of these trainers and just um, just boost Marowak's level a couple. Yeah, like, because Marowak's just getting creamed. Yeah, level 46. A lot of the Pokemon around here are bird keepers and stuff, so, and, um, poison types which is actually good for Marowak because I have dig and thrash is thrash is actually a pretty strong move you don't you only want to use it though if you only got like two opponents and you're gonna one hit knock them both out Marowak's just being confused and poisoned but there we go we gained a couple of levels so rival battle might actually be a little bit easier now Sometimes you just got to gain a level or two just to just to give you that little extra push. All right, let's use Body Slam. Whirlwind's good. I want to see Whirlwind. I don't. Oh, that failed. That sand attack failed. Ah, oh, very good. We got through Pidgeot without taking any damage. All right, execute. Let's use Body Slam. Hope. All right, Seated. That's not too bad. Leech Seed isn't too bad actually. Disabled failed. That's very good. Oh, I didn't want to get hit by Psybeam that hard. Seismic Toss is probably going to be the move that does the most amount of damage to Blastoise. Nope, still not able to get it. Get the job one. But Marowak really needs like a... Having Pidgeotto Sorry, Pidgeot um, not do any damage at all or hit a sand attack was really, really advantageous. I just needed Alakazam just to not hit me with Psybeam. It got a critical hit as well. Alright, knock out Pidgeot. Let's knock out Growlithe. Knock out Execute. That's good. Bone Meringue. Uh, I'm yeah right. I'm gonna get rid of Thrash just because of its um, of its confusion side effect. And Bone Meringue is like a, a unique move from Marowak. It's not a very good move, no. Bone Meringue. Um, it's a multiple hit move, and to my knowledge, I don't think any other Pokemon other than Marowak learns it. Have just been knocked out by Blastoise again. Uh, Bone Meringue is... Uh, let me just... It's 50 power. Um, but it can... It does multiple hits. So Bone Meringue deals damage and will strike twice. With, base, with 50 base power each time. So it's technically a base 100 move. So it's pretty much a bad dig because it's only 90% accurate. So there you go. Bone Meringue's not actually that good of a move, but no, it's, it's not too bad. So we got through the rival battle finally at level 49. Giovanni isn't really any difficulty. Marowak, it had to get lucky, but it's finally through. And now we can move on to Blaine now that I have Surf. 
And in post prod, I'm going to put in a little edit. Um, you may have noticed I forgot to battle someone. I actually forgot to battle the um, Karate Master. I lost to him, but I didn't actually go back and re-defeat him, which uh, usually I consider him like a mandatory part of the game, but I'm not re-recording Marowak's run because I missed him because Marowak has been a dreadful Pokemon to use. I can see why Team Rocket killed it because it's absolutely useless. Um, and to be fair, the Karate Master isn't a mandatory part of the game, so it's fine. Um, if you've stuck around this long watching the run, um, I give you my thanks because this was horrible to record. I don't think it's that entertaining to watch unless you just want to watch a Marowak get slapped around. And heads up, uh, Marowak does not do any better in the Elite Four, so let's cut back to the run in my normal commentary. Alright, we're nearly through this building. I, oh God, I hate this building so much. There's another rare candy. There's another rare candy in the bottom of the room here as well. Which, I, I get the feeling I'm going to need those rare candies a lot during the end of the game. Like, Marowak's level 50, and it's... Oops. Need to... Alright, it shouldn't have any problems against Blaine. Blaine is not that good. He will also use super potions on a Pokemon that's got full health. Uh, again, it's a weird programming quirk of Gen 1. Quite a few of its programming quirks were fixed for Gen 2. Alright, Blaine. Shouldn't, it shouldn't be too difficult. You stick against Growlithe, that's one hit. Ponyta, there goes that super potion with full health. Rapidash, Tail Whip, that's good. Arcanine, that's super potion again with full health. So Marowak has actually won a battle without taking a hit which is quite amazing really, given how bad it's done throughout the whole run. All right, so let's go in and battle Sabrina. Uh, and then one, two, there we go. Occasionally I do forget how to get to her. She's usually, if you stick to the left tiles, you end up finding her. Paralysis is not good. And that's why, because, well, I mean, we probably wouldn't outspeed Alakazam anyway, but... Hmm. I actually don't think Sabrina's going to... I Earlier I said I think Sabrina might be easier than the rival. Uh, I may actually be very wrong about that. Sabrina may actually be harder than the rival. Alright, let's go back to her again. Disable, that's good, and it missed. Mr. Mime gets outsped. Oh, I didn't want confusion. And I didn't want paralysis either. Oh, Alakazam's attack missed. Oh. It used Psybeam, and it had a, um, it had a gem one miss. It's a one in 256. And that miss may have actually got Marowak past, past the line. It may have actually got lucky against Sabrina. I, I guarantee you, like, 49 times out of 50, Marowak is probably losing to Sabrina at that level, so... All right, we have finally made it through to Giovanni. And, oh, God, what a run. This has not been a fun run. Marowak is... Uh, Marowak is really, really terrible. Not gonna lie, it's just not built for Gem 1. Gem 1 is built for you to use your heavy hitting special attackers like your Blastoise, your Starmies, your water types, and your grass types. Venusaur is pretty good for it too. Like, Gem 1 is just not built for a weak, somewhat hard hitting by physical attack Pokemon. Alright, knock dog trio out. Marowak should win this. It should be able to one hit both Nita King and Queen. Rhydon should be able almost a one hit as well. So 
So, all right, that was a f relatively easy battle. All right, let's heal up. This rival battle, yeah, I, I am picturing going just like the last one in Saffron City. Not very well. All right. Pidgeot no longer has Sand Attack, which is good. Wing Attack and Quick Attack aren't really going to do much damage, but... Uh, look, to be fair, Pidgeot still did a little bit. Uh, Ride, Horn, and Growlithe are nothing. Even... Oh, that might go for a Solar Beat. Oh, it hit Fully Paralysis. That was like... Ugh, okay. Um, what I was saying is that... Uh, it's Body Slam, Paralyzed, Execute, and then it got a full Paralysis um, when it went to use Solar Beam on the second turn. So, depositing Ducks and Lapras again, just because I don't think Marowak's going to win anytime soon. Oh, use Dig, use Dig, use Dig. Uh, body slam. Only seated if all oh, gained armor. Oh, that's not good. Oh, Psybeam is doing massive damage. Which shows again how bad Marowak's special is. Alright, Rhyhorn and um, Growlithe of Fine Rage is one of the worst moves in the game. Arguably the worst move because once you use it, you are locked into using it unconditionally until you faint or you win the battle. Or it misses and the only Pokemon knows teleport and you end up getting locked in a pretty much endless loop. That does happen. Uh, there is a glitch which I found out on cartridge many many years ago with the, um, the rival battle in Cerulean City. If you use Rage and you miss against Abra um, the game gets like confused. It will use Rage again, but it will sort of like, I'm gonna use all my rare candies because Marowak's just getting thumped. Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, you use all your rare candies and, sorry, you, you use Rage against Abra. And if you miss, it'll use Teleport and then the Rage will like continue, but it will just always miss. And Abra only knows teleport. You end up in a um, you end up in an endless loop. And Marowak's not going to win against Blastoise. Hydro Pump will. Hydro Pump will probably knock it out even even if it had full health. But I've got no choice. I like look at its defense. Its defense is really good, but its speed and special were just laughable. All right. Let's not execute out. There we go. All right, Blastoise is... Oh, it went for withdrawal. We didn't get a paralysis. It hits Hydro Pump and we're out. Hydro Pump hits hard, like against Marowak. All right, we... Got Pidgeot, good. Let's get rid of Rhyhorn and Growlithe. All right, nice. We've got a Paralysis and a Fully Paralysis. That's what we wanted. That means we're not gonna get paralyzed. Uh, reflect. That will carry over to Blastoise. And Blastoise, as you saw, still outsped. And Marowak wasn't at full health, but Hydro Pump is just gonna knock it out like one hit every time mm. this geez it's even it's even struggling to get through Alakazam and unless I get a oh, I get the paralysis but unless I like unless it gets fully paralyzed every time Let's go for Dig, because it's base 100. Fully paralyzed again, Hydro Bump. Yep. Uh. So even at level 60, it was at level 62, Marowak still is not having a good run. Like, any Pokemon that's 15 levels higher here should be 
absolutely slaughtering this rival, but... Like, level 62, I've beaten the game with Pokemon. I've beaten the Elite Four at lower level than this. Marowak's like... I reckon Marowak is going to be like around level 80 or so by the time it finally manages to beat the final rival battle in the Elite Four. It's like, it's, it's level 63, it's not that far off of it, and look how much it's struggling. Alright, get through Pidgeot, get through Rhyhorn, get through Growlithe. Paralyzed, good. Alright, very good. Recover, that's good. We need Reflect, that's not as good. We need a Paralysis. We don't get it. Withdraw, that's good. Let's get Paralysis. No. Oh, look how much Hydro Pump did. Oh! Seismic Toss will knock it out. Oh, finally. Oh, we're finally past that rival battle. Mind you, we got lucky. We got very lucky. Um, Blastoise will always go for its water moves. And that also includes Withdraw. Withdraw is a water type move. Um, because of the game's AI, it perceives... I need my Pokemon out of the box, don't I? It perceives um, water moves as super effective, so I will only use them. Uh, one of those water moves is Withdraw. It will just pick one of Blastoise's water moves at random between Hydro Pump and Withdraw and just uses one of them randomly. That's how the good AI works in this gen. It's pretty broken. That's why um, sometimes... If you use, like, say if you use a, po a poison Pokemon against Lance, um, the Dragonairs will only spam agility and won't actually ever attack you. So, at level 64, this is one level lower than the rival's highest level Pokemon in Elite Four. Just to put into perspective just how... just how bad Marowak's run has been. And again, this is another part of the game which I really... Which is just tedious to get through, is just this victory road. Oh, but at the end of the day, it has to be done, doesn't it? Well, at least there's no mandatory battles. In here, a lot of the trainers in here's Pokemon are around like the level 40 mark. So you can level up in here pretty good. Uh, the encounter rate in here is atrocious. It's so high. Another thing I have to remember is repels. I will try and remember them in future runs. Oops. Alright, let's head... Uh, onyx. Push a boulder through the hole. Push a boulder onto the pedestal and let's get through Victory Road. In maybe three encounters or less. There's two. Grab a full restore from the rock. Alright, let's go into the Elite Four. This is going to be horrendous. I can see it already. Marowak is going to get slaughtered. Um, I'm predicting it will not get past Lorelei until like level 70 at least. Let's go for Body Slam. Oh, good paralysis. Aurora Beam. Yep, that's done half damage. We get through Dugong. Uh, Cloyster has really good physical defense. Like, that's a base 100 move that's requiring like three hits. Like, Dig will need three hits to knock out Cloyster, and I'm 11 levels higher. Well, this is going well. I'll have to use Seismic Toss against Cloyster. In fact, Seismic Toss might be the best move against Lorelei, to be honest. And Jinx outspeeds. 
Well, that went fantastically, didn't it? Okay, Dugong. Let's knock out Cloister. Okay, I just got knocked out by Cloister. So, yeah, Marowak has got a long way to go. Although, to be fair, once it gets through Lorelei, it will probably do decently well. Um, Bruno's not going to be any difficulty. Agatha, so 136 attack, 183 defense. Its speed and its special were better left unsaid. Like, they're abysmal. Oh. Look at that. It didn't even get through Dugong. Mind you, I probably could have used... Um, probably could have used Seismic Toss. Jeez. Yeah, this is bad. This is really bad. I, I'm going to have to level up a bit more. Oh, that's right. It doesn't let you go back through on that pedestal. You know what? I'm... Because Marowak is just getting thumped, I am going to go to... Um... I'm going to go and battle all the bikers here. Uh, this will give Marowak a little bit of a quicker level up because it's actually winning some battles. Because I can get knocked out by Dugong and Cloyster, I, I might as well just um, come out here for a little bit and just get a couple of extra levels. Otherwise, Marowak's going to take forever. And the good thing is here, the bikers do use a lot of, like... They do use Pokemon that give you quite a chunk of experience, so... And at level... What, nearly 40 levels higher than them, Marowak can beat them quite easily. Which is a good thing, you would want it to. Although I'm running out of PP quick. That shouldn't be too much problem. We'll use Dig for a little bit. Get rid of Primeape. There is also a rare candy on this road that I can pick up as well. Where is it? There it is. Oh, no room for items. Alright. Um, PP up. Let's use that. Let's use that on Dig. Increase its PP to 12 rather than 10. There you go, use Dig and he went for self-destruct, get rid of a Macho, get rid of a Primeape. So yeah, some of the Pokemon here can give you nearly like a thousand points per knockout, which is quite good. That Weezing will give almost a thousand. Weezing, oh, went to go for Dig, went for Bone Meringue, but that's okay. Let's use Bone Meringue for a little bit. Ah, oh, the mark but it's minimized. Alright. Dig. Uh, let's dig another monkey. Alright, let's get rid of wheezing. Let's get rid of another muck. So level 67, where Did I only grow one level from that? Was I level 66 when I started that sort of oh. So really, I didn't actually... I thought I would have leveled up a little bit more, but... Ah... Uh, I'm going to knock out Dugong. Yeah. Yeah, this is not going well, but I've really got no choice but to just keep... Keep battling Dugong and Cloyster until Marowak just levels up. There you go, because like 2,000 for knocking out Dugong is pretty good. Still need three seismic toss to knock out Spider. And then Jinx is just coming on and just finishing the job. Like I So um, I leveled up there before I used the rare candy so I didn't have to um spend the experience. Jeez, even at level 69, it still needs three hits with body slam. That's really, really terrible. 
clamp almost knocks me out. All right. Ah, we almost... There we go. We knock out slow, bro. We still don't outspeed Jinx, so... And remember, even after Jinx, we've still got a Lapras to get through. A level 56 one as well, and one that also knows Blizzard. So I don't like Marowak's chances of getting through. I tell you what, it might not even get through until like the mid 70s at this rate. Well, nothing to do but keep leveling up, I guess. Level 69. Yeah, like, I thought Marowak might be a little bit challenging, but I never thought it would be this bad. Not this bad. Ice Punch. Oh, look how much damage that did. Jinx doesn't have much defense, so... Can knock it out. Okay, I do outspeed Lapras. That's good information to know. Oh, I wish that Blizzard missed. If that Blizzard missed, I could have used Dig and won, but... I think Blizzard's 90% uh, accuracy from memory. Yeah, we really need to be able to outspeed Jinx. Surely Marowak's not far off from being able to... Oh, look how much damage Dugong did. I need Dugong to, like, not go for Aurora Beam. Super Potion, that's good. We can knock Dugong out. Dig, that's good. That's good. Marowak is still at full health. That's good. All right. Ice Punch. That's done a little bit under half. Do I get a Paralysis with Body Slam? I do. Blizzard will knock me out. Ugh. Like, this is... It's painfully hard with... Like, these runs are going to be painfully hard with rock Pokemon. Like, oh uh, man, like Geodude, Graveler, even Golem. Like, oh man, oh, I just got frozen too. Like, Geodude's evolution line and Onyx, even Rhyhorn and Rhydon, like, they're going to get slaughtered in these runs. Gem 1 is definitely not built for doing a solo run with ground types or rock types. You much prefer your water types, uh, your psychics, your grass for doing a gem one solo run. Um, uh, see, look, we're still, still struggling to get through Cloister, and this is at level seventy-two, man. Like. Alright, Dig seems to be a better strategy. Base 100 and doing quite a bit of damage. There we go, we've knocked out Jinx. I have to hope for a Paralysis and a Blizzard miss, but I'm, I'm just not getting it, am I? Alright, we're through. Alright, full health after... Do, oh, full health for Jinx. Ah, look how much Body Slam did. God damn it. Marowak's getting the paralysis. Oh, we got a miss. Uh, let's go for Dig. Yes, finally. Oh, that was horrible. Level 73 before it got through Lorelei. This is why I enjoy using Pokemon's natural strength, not utilizing the badge boost glitcher in, in any way. Just using the Pokemon's, the moves it can learn, and just its own stats, just to see how bad some of them actually are. Um, and as I thought, Bruno did basically nothing to me. I will probably need to use an elixir. So I do still have Bone Meringue. Ah, that means I'm going to dig and not do anything to Golbat. Oh, man. oh Haze, that's good. That, yeah. oh, just... Agatha's, I hate when she does this. She keeps switching her Pokemon in and out. Dig. 
uh, hypnosis. Come on, Marek. No confusion. No confusion. Ah, uh, you just couldn't. You just couldn't, could you? Oh, there we go. There we go. Dig will one-hit Gengar. Gengar's got pretty bad defense. So, uh, Bone Meringue should knock out Haunter if it doesn't. Oh, there we go. Another Bone Meringue. Glare, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, we've beaten Arbok. And Gengar knocks us out with Nightshade. Well, look. At least we got past Lorelei that time. We've made it to level 74. So, does that mean we're going to be able to start beating her? I really should have went for Dig against um, Dugong. Oh, we're outspeeding Jinx. We get knocked out by Lapras, but we're outspeeding Jinx now, which is pretty much the only way we're going to comfortably be able to beat Lorelei. Did Marowak miss Dig? 1 in 256. Alright, let's go again. Let's go for Dig. Oh, one hit on Dugong. Cloister hit Clamp. That's not good. No, we've lost too much health. Oh, no. It, it, Jinx. It must be a speed tie. It's either a speed tie or we must have had Growl or something used on us, which um, badge boosted our speed up a little bit. Good thing is, though, we are very close to outspeeding Jinx. Stop using super potions. I probably could have gone for Seismic Toss. Being at level 75, Seismic Toss is actually probably Marowak's best move. There, uh, it needs a crit, a crit to knock out. Oh, there we go. We've got a crit on um, Cloyster as well. All right, we're full health for Jinx. We're full health for Lapras. Marowak should not lose this. Oh, it got hit by Hydro Pump. Dig should knock it out, though. Dig should knock it out. And it does, all right. Second time getting through Lorelei and we are level 76. All right, knock out Onyx. Almost knock out Hitmonchan. Let's knock out Hitmonlee. There we go. All right, Machamp won't be any trouble. And now Agatha. Uh, Alright, good. That time she didn't swap out to Golbat, so dig. I probably should have went for Boomerang, because if she swaps out and goes for... Um, to swap Golbat in for Gengar, I actually then can't damage uh, Golbat with dig, and then I'm susceptible to... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Dig. That should knock out Gengar in one hit. So, Lorelei's not too... Uh, sorry, not Lorelei. Uh, Agatha's not too bad, but, I mean, we are quite a high level as well. All right, Gyarados is... Oh my god, they didn't even do half damage with Body Swing. That's not even doing half damage. Oh my god. I need more Forest Doors as well. Uh, Dig won't affect Gyarados. Gyarados is part flying type for some reason. Well, the, the reason is, is because if it was made um, water and dragon, which would make sense, um, if Gyarados was made water and dragon type, it wouldn't have a weakness to anything. There would be no moves that would be super effective against it. And Gyarados essentially would be completely broken. So yeah, that's why Gyarados was made part flying. As um, it's that way, it's weak to rock, and it's four times weak to um, electric. So I can sell some of the TMs and some of the extra junk in my bag to get a few more full restores. Dig. Okay, Dig looks like it's starting to one-hit Dugong, which is good. Still need three Seismic Toss to knock out Slowbro. There we go. Get rid of Jinx. We outsped at that time. Dig. Good. One more Dig. 
even a body slam might. Ah, oh, so potion, alright. I want to try and preserve some deep PP. So I can go further and gain some more in info because um, I only have limited elixirs. Right. Good, knock out much amp. Right, got plenty of four restore, so let's heal up for Agatha and Dig. Good, let's knock out Gengar. All right, Golbat, we are outspeeding finally, which is, without it, Marowak just can't win. So, oh, there we go. All right, so full health win against Agatha, which is expected at this level. Especially for a ground type. All right, Gyarados, Body Slam. Oh, it missed. I didn't quite see what it went for, but it probably would have been a Hydro Pump or a Hyper Beam. All right, we're three Dragonairs. I didn't think that'd be too much problem. I'll have to go for Seismic Toss against Aerodactyl. It's really the only, oh, I think that's gonna be three hits, it is. Although, because Marowak does have very good physical defense, it can tank a Hyper Beam. Do we get a Paralysis? All right, we've got through Lance. Which is lucky, because he probably could have gone for a Hyper Potion there if he really wanted to. All right, I've got four Elixir. I'll use one of them. For the first time, I'm finally at Rival Battle. Level 80. That's... We outspeed Pidgeot. It's not a one hit, even with a crit. Oh, Alakazam still outspeeds us. I really need a paralysis here. So it's a one hit against Alakazam with Body Slam, which is good. It should be a one hit against Rhydon. Alright, halfway there. Arcanine, outspeed. Alright, that'll be a one hit kill. Exeggutor, Body Slam. Uh, Oh, I didn't even do... It's going to be three hits. That's not too bad, though. Executor can't do much to damages. Paralysis, that's good. Barrage won't do much. Blastoise. Uh... Oh. Body slam for the paralysis. It's going to be three hits. Hydro pump is... Oh... I'm going to go for Dig. I don't think it's going to do enough. Let's use Withdraw. I'll need a critical hit. I don't get it. And it hits with Blizzard. Oh, Marowak got very close. Very, very close that time. It's level... I can't believe it's level 81. A fully evolved Pokemon should not need to get to level 81. I mean, there's... Of course, there's other strategies. Marowak could do this at a lower level, but... That's not the way I want to do these runs. I want to do them with the Pokemon's actual strength. No exploits. Marowak. Marowak should just about be able to do it this time, I reckon. It's very, very close to the win. But my god, what a terrible run. Alright, Confusions. Alright, it's worn off. That's good. Let's Body Slam Golbat. Get rid of Golbat. Bone Meringue. Bone Meringue. Bone Meringue. Gengar outsped. How, how is Gengar still outspeeding me? Oh, wait. Was I paralyzed? I, I, I might not have seen. I'm, I'm starting to get tired. I just want this run to be over. That might have been my Gengar was outspeeding. I think Arbok might have used Glare against me and I just didn't register that it used Glare. All right. The good thing is, though, we are getting past Lorelei fairly comfortably now. Bruno's not any problem. Oh. Oh, Pimpmon Chan hit me with Counter. Oh, and Marowak gets a win. Good job, good job. All right, plenty of full restore. Agatha shouldn't be an issue. Uh, Nightshade, that's not great. That's 
still 56 points worth of damage. Uh, body slam on Golbat. Wing attack's fine. Bone meringue missed. Oh, come on. Oh, no, come on. Don't miss. That's lucky. Arbok could have used Glare and paralyzed you there, Marowak, but you got lucky. All right, let's heal you up. Let's go battle Lance. It's, you should be able to get through Lance. That um, it really depends if Gyarados hits Hydro Pump. Lance has good AI as well. He's always probably going to go for it. What move should I go? Should I use Body Slam? All right, we got through. Sorry, I think my emulator might have skipped a little bit there. Sometimes the emulator, because I, I run it at such a high speed, it I got knocked out by Lance. Huh. Um, because of the way the emulator speeds the game up, um, because the game's not meant to run that fast, sometimes it gets a bit confused and it will like skip for a little bit. I'm so close to the end, I just want this run to be over. Alright. Let's not get hit by counter this time. Let's just use... Let's just use dig. There we go. Alright. Full restore. You know, I'm not even going to bother. Because Marowak should be outspeeding. It shouldn't need to be at full health. Bone Meringue. As long as it doesn't miss Bone Meringue. Jeez, is that Gengar still outspeeding me? I wasn't paralyzed that time. That Gengar must still be out. Oops. Oops, I actually meant to heal that time. It hit me with Hydro Pump. You use, all right, if you're gonna use a Hyper Potion, I'm gonna use a full restore. And I don't care what anyone says. I should have used it before the start of the battle anyway. But if Lance is gonna be cheap and use his Hyper Potion, I'm gonna use my, yay. I'm gonna use my full restore. All right, Marowak, level 85. There's an elixir for you. All right, come on, Marowak. You've got this. You've got it this time. All right, it's taken a little bit of damage. Ah. Oh. All right, dig. Right on's down. Dig. Arcanine's down. It's gonna need three digs to knock out Executor. I'm gonna need a miss. I'm gonna need Blastoise to miss. Crit or. Oh. Oh, it went, it went for withdraw. Seismic toss. Get out of here, Blastoise. And I don't care. This run was horrible. I'd never want to see a Marowak ever again in my life. Um, Jesus. I can't believe how bad that was. Level 86. The only thing Marowak really has going for it is its physical defense. And in the Elite Four, that doesn't even matter. Um, yeah, that was horrible. Um, as the credits roll, uh, Marowak is a dreadful Pokemon. Its move pool, it's not terrible, but it's not good. Um, with its poor special, I don't know if its special defense is better in later gens, but for Gen 1, Marowak is just rubbish. It's weak, it gets killed easily it's got bad typing against the elite four and most of the gyms it doesn't level up all that quick it's slow so it barely ever gets critical hits uh yeah this is why team rocket didn't want to keep it and they just got rid of it as sad as it was in the story but yeah, Marowak, not a good run. Uh, very tedious, but at level 86, it finally got the job done. So, Marowak, congratulations. You eventually got the win. The end. Thanks, everybody, if you've watched for the hour and a half that this has gone for. I really do appreciate it. Uh, wherever you are in the world, take care. Uh, I might do Blastoise next, or... I'm, I've got Blastoise in my mind. I used him a lot back when I had this on cartridge. So take care. Thanks for watching. See you soon.